Hafidez and Minagel Talawani, the Committee on Rules, hereby calls this meeting to order. And for the record, today is Monday, April 19th, 2021, and the time is now 2.10 p.m. Madam Clerk, please take roll of the members at this time. Chairperson, Vice Speaker Munya Barnes. Agia. Vice Chair, Legislative Secretary, Senator Shelton. Member Speaker Terlahi. Member Senator Shelton. Member Senator San Augustine. Member Senator Rajel. Member Senator Terlahi. Agia. Member Senator Perez. Member Senator Blas. Member Senator Torres. Madam Chair, there is a quorum. See Jules Masi, uh, Madam Clerk, and at this time I'll uh, recognize the Vice Chair put for uh, for a motion to for our members not present. Half a day. Good afternoon, colleagues. Uh, Madam Chair, I move to excuse members not present for today's Committee on Rules meeting. Is there a second to that? Second by Sen Senator Sabina Perez. Uh, are there any objections? Seeing or hearing none, motion carries. Num we are in item number three, uh, ratification of the, the core meeting minutes. Does the chair hear a motion to ratify the core meeting minutes from March 17th, 2021? And colleagues, this can be found in the Google drive folder for this meeting titled 01-Meeting Minutes. Do I see a motion? So moved, Madam Chair. Is there a second? Second. A second by Senator uh, uh, Pito Terlahi. Uh, all those, are there any objections? No. Seeing or hearing none, motion carries. We are now in item number four. Um, the first item of the core business is to update the document tracking. Our legislative secretary will now provide her report, which can be found, colleagues, on the Google Drive folder for this meeting titled 02 Legislative Secretary's Report. Secretary Vice Chair Shelton, please proceed. Sidious Masi, Madam Chair, the legislative secretary reports today is as follows. Appointments by the governor. There are 38 appointments submitted by Governor Lulian Guerrero to date. One appointment confirmed during the February 2021 session, 14 appointments confirmed during the March 2021 session, with a total of 15 appointments confirmed. Of the remaining 23 appointments, there are some pending confirmation, one withdrawal, none has extended beyond the authorized 90-day term limit. There are no zone change requests at this time, and there is no rules and regulations request at this time. Sidhu Smasi, Madam Chair and colleagues. Sidhu Smasi, uh, Legislative Secretary, Vice Chair. And at this time, next item on the uh, agenda is the ratification of referrals. The referral of bills and appointments are indicated each on the corresponding logs which can be found in the Google Drive folder for the meeting titled 03 Legislative Item Logs. Uh, and does the chair hear a motion to ratify the referrals for bills number 75-36-COR through bills number 121-36-COR? So move, Madam Chair. Is there a second? Senator Mary Torres, thank you very much. Moved by Legislative Vice Chair and Vice Chair Senator Shelton and seconded by Senator Mary Torres. Are there any objections? Seeing or hearing none, motion carries. No, just, just through the ratifications, through the, uh, we've already done the bills, now we're doing the referrals. We'll, we'll go through the bills uh, to be placed on second reading. No, the, no, the referrals? Sorry, I'm sorry. No I worries. If I could just, I just wanted to put on the record, I had an objection to the referral of bills 103, 108, and I sent a letter to the Committee on Rules. One is regarding 
telehealth, which I believe should have gone to the health committee, ones regarding adoption, and then also Bill 109, also in, uh, relative to adoption agencies being included in the process. And so both, just want to put on the record, my objection to those referrals. Yes. Okay, but uh, I, will, I will note that uh, for the record, um, duly noted. So in that effort, Will still there's still a motion to entertain that, and there was is there a second? There is a second. All those in favor, signify by saying, uh, raising your hand. I apologize. Two, four, five, six. Motion carries. And at this time, does the chair hear a motion to ratify the referrals of appointments? So moved, Madam moved. Chair. Is there a second? There's a motion moved by um, uh, Legislative Secretary Vice and Vice Chair Senator Shelton and seconded by Senator um, Pito Terlahi. Do you, on discussion, Senator Paris? Yes, thank you, Madam Chair. Hello? Okay, hello? Yeah, just, um, I guess a question. Uh, I'm. I'm seeing the, the referral of some of the nominees for the um, Guam, Guam Unarmed Combat Commission. So, um, yeah, just a question about that. The committee it was referred to. Because my understanding is that uh, DRT has. Yeah, can you, um, um, Senator Parrish, can you give me the name of the individual? So and there's a couple of them. Uh, there's the Joseph M. Chrysostomo, Jr. And then there is a Justin Beneventi. And I might have missed a couple. Maria Dunn. So they were um, nominated to the Guam Unarmed Combat Commission, which I think falls under Department of Revenue and Taxation. And according to this, or, it was. Um, or Department of Parks and Recreation. Duly yeah, noted. If that can be double So is there an objection? If there's an objection, I'll call for the vote. Question for clarification, yeah, if that's the proper um, committee. So that could be clarified. Uh, I don't have an objection because I, I need to verify. So just a clarification. I will take a moment's recess.
the Committee on Rules is back from recess. Thank you very much, colleagues, uh, for the time. Uh, there is still that uh, motion on the floor for the um, referral of appointments. It was moved by Legislative Secretary and Vice Chair Shelton and then seconded by Senator Peter Terlahi. Is there an objection? There is an objection. Oh, no, I would just like to ask uh, to amend the motion and with the exception of the referrals of the appointments to the Guam Combat Commission and pending further uh, confirmation of those. Pending think, further confirmation. Yeah. On that motion, is there an objection? No objection. Motion carries. Thank you, uh, Speaker and Senator Perez and Senator Shelton. Uh, next up is the referral resolutions. Does the chair hear a motion to ratify the referral? Resolutions? So moved, Madam Chair. There, uh, there is a motion uh, done by Vice Chair Legislative Secretary Shelton and seconded by Senator Torres. Are there any objections? Seeing or hearing none. Motion carries. Colleagues, we will now move into the consideration of items eligible for placement on the session agenda. We are now on session, I mean, item number five. And before I do that, based on the submission uh, uh, on the agenda of the bills that were, uh, and appointments that were included uh, through the uh, processing, um, um, through, through its processing, I want to note for the record that Bill 86-36-COR uh, has been submitted and cleared uh, bill number 74-36-COR uh, has been submitted but not cleared and appointments Daphne M. Leon Guerrero to be a member of the Guam Ethics Commission has been cleared and also the appointment of Carl E. Corpus as the resident member for the Guam Housing and Urban Renewal Authority Board of Commissions was uh, submitted and cleared. Uh, so at this time, uh, based on request and consideration, I will uh, acknowledge Senator Sabina Paris. Thank you so much, Madam Chair. Uh, I would like to place on the agenda, I move to place on the agenda, Bill 86-36-COR, which was cleared today, um, sponsored by myself. It's an act to amend Section 51A-106A2 and to add a new subsection 51A-106A3 um, both of Chapter 51, Title 10, Guam Code annotated relative to expanding the qualification requirements for the Guam Solid Waste Authority General Manager position. And and it was submitted by the Committee on Public Accountability, Human Resources, the Guam Buildup, Agatnia Revitalization, Regional Affairs, Public Libraries, Telecommunications, and Technology. I just want to make sure the citations are correct. I will ask the clerk. Senator Sabine. Um, thank you, Madam Chair. It's Bill 86-36-COR as amended. Okay, thank you very much. On that motion, I mean, is there a second? I apologize. Is there a second? There's a second by uh, a Speaker Therese Terlahi on the motion to place 86-36 onto the uh, session agenda. Are there any objections? Seeing or hearing none. Motion carries. Senator Sabina, you still have the floor. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I move to place Bill 94-36 LS as amended by the Committee on Public Accountability, Human Resources, the Guam Buildup, Agatnia Revitalization, Regional Affairs, Public Libraries, Telecommunications, and Technology. 
uh, sponsored by myself, Senator Sabina Flores Perez, and co-sponsored by Speaker Ter Therese M. Terlahi, Vice Speaker Tina Rose Munya Barnes, uh, Senators V. Anthony Ada, Senator Frank F. Bloss Jr., Senator Joanne Brown, Senator Christopher M. Duenas, Senator James C. Moylan, Senator Talina Cruz Nelson, Senator Clinton E. Rigel, Senator Joe S. Augustine, and Senator Tello Taitigui. It's an act to add a new section 15409C and amend section 15410, all from Article 4 of Chapter 15, Title 4, Guam Code Annotated, relative to updating the ethics in government training program and requiring ethics training for all government of Guam employees. And it's as amended. Um, is there a second? Is there a second? There is a second by Senator uh, Frank Bloss. All those in favor? Um, are, are there any objections? Seeing or hearing, none. Motion carries. Senator Perez, you still have the floor. Thank you, Madam Chair. I move to place. These are now um, the nominations. So we can turn to that page. Uh, so there are two nominations um, from the Committee on Environment, Revenue, and Taxation, Labor Procurement, Statistics Research and Planning uh, for two members on the board, Guam EPA Board of Directors. Um, so the first one is uh, the nomination of Moneca de Oro to serve as a member of the Guam EPA Protection Agency Board of Directors with the recommendation to do confirm. I'll go ahead and take that first uh, nomination for appointment. Are there any objections? Seeing or hearing none. Motion carries, Senator Paris. The second nomination is uh, David R. Duenas to serve as a member of the Guam Environmental Protection Agency Board of Directors for the recommendation to do confirm. On that motion, is there a second? Are there any objections? Seeing or hearing none. Motion carries. Any, um, you, Senator Paris, you still have the floor. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. We are working on uh, a third nominee, uh, Richard Gutierrez to serve on the Guam Real Estate Commission. So that will be coming. Duly noted, Senator Perez, is there anything else? Uh, that, that concludes my motion, Sizuz Masi. Thank you, Senator Perez. I will go ahead at this time, recognize my Vice Chair, Legislative Secretary Shelton. You, you are recognized. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. I move to place on to the session agenda, bill number 100-36 COR, as amended by the Committee on Air Transportation, Parks, Tourism, Higher Education, and the Advancement of Women, Youth, and Senior Citizens, sponsored by myself, by Vice Speaker Tina Rose Munoz Barnes, Senator Talina Cruz Nelson, Senator Joe S. St. Augustine, Senator Mary Camacho Torres, and Senator V. Anthony Ada, an act to amend section 11105 of Chapter 11, Title 12, Guam Code Annotated relative to allowing the Public Defender Service Corporation to receive and administer grants and enter into intragovernmental and intergovernmental agreements and to establishing an elder law center within the corporation to provide legal services for Guam's elderly population. Is there a second to that? There's a second by uh, Senator Pito Terlahi. Are there any objections? Seeing or hearing none. Motion carries. Legislative Secretary, you're still recognized, Vice Chair. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. And on your behalf, I move to place resolution number 53-36-COR as amended by the author, Tina Rose, Vice Speaker Tina Rose Munya Barnes, relative to supporting the Republic of China, Taiwan's participation as observer at the World Health Organization's 74th World Health Assembly onto the session agenda. Is there a second to that motion? Second, seconded by Senator Pito Terlahi. All those in favor, are, are there any objections? I apologize. Seeing or hearing none. Motion carries. Legislative Secretary, you still have the floor. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. Uh, from the Committee on Air Transportation, Parks, Tourism, Higher Education, and the Advancement of Women, Youth, and Senior Citizens, I move to place the nomination of Dr. Janice P. Malile to serve as a member of the University of Guam Board of Regents with the recommendation to do confirm onto the session agenda. There's a second. There's a uh, seconded by Senator Sabina Perez. Are there any objections? Seeing or hearing none. Motion carries. Legislative. No. Okay. 
And just a couple more, Legislative Secretary, Madam please. Chair. Thank you very much. I move to place the nomination of Daphne M. Leon Guerrero to serve as a member of the Guam Ethics Commission onto the session agenda. Is there a second? Seconded by Senator Sabina Perez. Are there any objections? Seeing or hearing none. Motion carries Legislative Secretary. I'll still recognize you. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. And I move to place the appointment of Carl E. Corpus to serve as a member resident of the Board of Commissioners, Guam Housing and Urban Renewal Authority to serve for a five-year term to fill the seat of Joseph Leon Guerrero, whose term has expired onto the session agenda. Is there a second? Second by Senator Pito Terlahi. Are there any objections? Seeing or hearing none. Motion carries. Thank you. Set. At this time, I will recognize, thank you very much, uh, Vice Chair and Legislative Secretary. I will now recognize our speaker, Speaker Therese Terlahi. You may proceed. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'd like to move the, um, that Bill Number 51-36-COR is amended by the Committee on Health, Land, Justice, and Culture. Introduced by Therese Terlahi, Talina Cruz Nelson, Sabina Flores Perez, an act relative to the authorization for the use of real property within the administrative jurisdiction of the Guam Water Works Authority for the construction and maintenance of soccer fields and related facilities. This is for the ORDOT uh, soccer field next to the ORDOT Elementary. And um, Bill number 51, so I'd move that to be placed on the second agenda, uh, second reading file. Is there a second? Second by uh, Senator Pito Terlahi. Are there any objections? Seeing or hearing none. Motion carries. Speaker Terlahi, you're still recognized. Thank you, and thank you, Senator. And um, yes, I'd like to move the nomination of uh, Dr. Gregory J. Miller to serve as a member of the chiropractic representative of the Guam Board of Allied Health Examiners with the recommendation to do confirm. Is there a second to that, Senator Parrish? Thank you very much. There has been a second by Senator Parrish. Are there any objections? Seeing or hearing none. Motion carries. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'd like to also um, move the nomination of Ray C. Tahaji to serve as a member, the physician assistant representative of the Guam Board of Allied Health Examiners with a recommendation to do confirm that that be Is there a second to that? Second by Senator Pito Terlahi. Are there any objections? Seeing or hearing none. Motion carries. Speaker Terlai is to recognize. I have no further motions, Madam Chair, except that uh, I, I am having a hearing on Monday on Resolution 63. It's a time sensitive one, so that might, I might try to make a motion to put that on the agenda. It's regarding just showing the legislature's support for community grant funds from Congress for the Fisherman's Co-op. Duly noted, Speaker Terlai, and uh, we look forward to that. Thank you very much. Next on uh, is uh, Senator uh, Clint Rachel. You are recognized. Thank you, Madam Chair. I move to place uh, resolution number 46-36LS as amended by the author, myself, Quinton E. Rajel, relative to urging the National Marine Fisheries Service to delay the proposed coral critical habitat designation process until such time that the five-year coral status review and coral recovery plan can be completed as well as urging the Department of Agriculture to work in coordination with NMFS to identify appropriate coral critical habitat for Guam using the best uh, scientific information available to the session agenda. Is there a second to that motion? There is a second by Senator Perez. So are, is, are there any objections? Seeing or hearing none. Motion carries. Senator Clint, you're still recognized. Thank you, Madam Chair. I move to place bill number 48-36-COR as amended by the Committee on Economic Development, Agriculture, Power, and Energy Utilities and the Arts. Oh, excuse me, I apologize. Forty-eight dash thirty-six. No, actually, um, I have a. Di I was reading the wrong bill. I apologize. Sorry, bill number sixty-three dash thirty-six. I move to place bill number sixty-three dash thirty-six LS, uh, sponsored by myself and Tina Rose Munoz Barnes, an act to amend uh, six eight one hundred one of Chapter sixty-eight, Title five, Guam Code, annotated relative to requiring farmers to be certified as bona fide farmers to sell locally grown produce or 
aquaculture products and to suspend or revoke business licenses from companies found in violation to the session agenda. Is there a second to that motion? Is there a second? Uh, there is a second by S Senator Pedal Terlahi. Are there any objections? Seeing or hearing none. Motion carries. Senator Clinch, you're still recognized? I have no further motions, Madam Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Senator P Pedal Terlahi. Do you have anything for the session agenda? Thank you very much. Uh, Senator Mary Torres and Senator Frank Bloss. Thank you, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, I move to bill, move Bill 48-36-COR as amended by the Committee on Economic Development, Agriculture, Power, and Energy Utilities and the Arts, sponsored by Senator V. Anthony Ada, an act to amend subsection 58110D of Article 1, Chapter 58, Title 12, Guam Code Annotated, relative to the expansion of the public investments, options for qualifying certificate holders to include municipal programs and projects uh, to into the session agenda. Is there a second to, the, to that motion? Seconded by Senator Mary Torres. Are there any objections? Seeing or hearing none. Motion carries. Senator Bloss, you're still recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, that's what I have at this time. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Vice Chair. I will go ahead and yield at this time to Senator Paris. I do think she has a reconsideration or a consideration to ask. Senator Paris, I will uh, yield to you at this time. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Excuse me. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. So um, in talking with some of the community members, um, the resolution uh, pertaining to World Water Day uh, might be actually more time sensitive. And so if uh, we get that the committee report sent in, uh, this week, um, I would like to move that. Do you know the resolution number? Uh, resolution 55-36 COR, uh, sponsored by myself, uh, Speaker Teresa M. Terlahi, uh, uh, Senators Talina Cruz Nelson, Clinton Uri General, Jose Pito Terlahi, uh, Vice Speaker Tina Rosemary Barnes, and Senator Teloti Taidigui. It's relative to reaffirming our human rights to safe drinking and clean water in observance of World Water Day 2021 and recognizing the importance of protecting our Northern Guamland's aquifer and precious water resource and ensuring the health of our people. So, Senator Paris, thank you very much. Duly noted on that consideration. Ms. Masi. Okay. Um, Vice Chair, Legislative Secretary Shelton, I'll recognize you at, at this time. Thank you very much, Madam Chair, and I move that we uh, move these bills and resolutions into the second reading file and that we adopt the session agenda for April. Is there a second to this motion? Seconded by Senator Mary Torres. Are there any objections? Seeing or hearing none. Motion carries. At this time, colleagues, we are on uh, item number six. Yes. Yes, we did, Senator Terlahi. Right now, we are at extension of remarks. Anyone wishing to speak on extension remarks? If not, Vice Chair, a motion to adjourn. Thank you very much, Madam Chair, and I move that we adjourn this committee on rules meeting. Is there a second? There's a second by Senator Pito Terlahi. Are there any objections? Seeing or hearing none, we are adjourned at 2.42 p.m. Sizu Asmasi, colleagues, for your time. <laughs>